hello guys welcome to my channel so on your xbox app if you see this error that is we couldn't sign you into your microsoft account there seems to be a problem with your microsoft store account so if you are receiving this error then please follow the steps shown in this video now the first step is to check for any outage so before performing any troubleshooting steps first of all go to microsoft website the link is provided in the video description once you go to this website check for any outage here you can see xbox status all the services are up and running so under services check for any outage over here if you see this limited triangle yellow triangle icon under any services or if you see major outage icon under services that means there is some outage from microsoft side in that case you have to wait once that is resolved from microsoft side then you can check but if all the services are up and running in that case you can follow the next step the next step is to log out from xbox app so open xbox app on the top left here you can see your profile icon click on sign out now once you log out from here go to microsoft store before that close xbox app so once you sign out close xbox app and then open microsoft store on your computer once you open microsoft store on the top right here you can see your profile icon click on it click on sign out and then click on sign in select the right account which has the game pass or which has the game make sure that you select the right account over here enter your pin or password now once logged in now you can open xbox app or you can open the game and then try to log in now click on sign in and then again click on sign in and you have to select the same account login with same account on microsoft store and use the same account on xbox app and once you log in with same account now you can check now still not working in that case make sure date time time zone and reason is correct on your computer so open settings on your computer and then go to time and language now over here go to date and time and make sure make sure set time zone automatically this is on also make sure set time automatically is also on once both are on now scroll down and here you can see sync now option click on sync now and if you receive this error again click on sync now and once the sync is done now you can go to time and language once again and then go to language and region and make sure your country the right country is selected over here and then check now still you are facing the problem the next step is to remove microsoft account and then try again now for this you can open windows settings and then go to accounts and then scroll down click on email and accounts and over here you will see your microsoft account which you are using on xbox app so you can remove this click on remove read this if you agree only then click on yes and once it is done now you can open xbox app or microsoft store so first of all open microsoft store and on the top right you will see your profile icon click on it click on sign in select you have to add your account so click on microsoft account and then click on and continue enter your email and password now once you're logged in over here now you can open microsoft uh, sorry xbox app so now you can open xbox app and then you, if you are already logged in you can sign out and then click on sign in sign in and select the same account you have to log in with same account continue and you should be able to log in now still you are facing the problem the next step is to run gaming services repair tool now for this go to xbox app and on the top left you will see your profile icon click on it now click on support over here and you will see an option gaming services repair tool click on it click on start repairing click on yes to allow and let the process complete this will take a couple of seconds or maybe few minutes once this is complete now you can check now once done you can close this and then you can check still not working you can type in gaming services repair tool in google search and then go to gaming services repair tool you can close the xbox app when you run the gaming services repair tool from website the link is provided in the video description go to downloadable version scroll down and here you can see download the gaming services repair tool and then run this exe file click on yes to allow 
and let the process complete. This will again take a couple of seconds or maybe few minutes once you see completed successfully. Now you can open Xbox app and then you can check. Next step is to restart your computer and try again. Simply restart your computer once. And after the system restart, you can check. Next step is to turn off use my sign in info to automatically finish setting. Now for this, you have to open Windows settings, go to accounts and then go to sign in options over here and then scroll down under additional settings. You will see use my sign in info to automatically finish setting about after an update. If this is on, you, can, you have to turn this off, turn it off and then check. Next step is to run inet cpl.cpl command. So type in inet cpl.cpl and then click on inet cpl.cpl. Now go to the advanced tab, scroll down. Here you can see use TLS 1.0, use TLS 1.1, use TLS 1.2, use TLS 1.3. Make sure all four are checked and then hit apply. Make sure that you click on apply and then click on OK. Now you can open Xbox app and then check. Next step is to run this command. This command is provided in the video description. So copy this command and then type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open Windows PowerShell as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here, hit the enter key. Now this process will take some time and during the pro during this process, you will see some errors in red color. So if you see these errors in red color, just ignore it and let the process complete. Now, once this is done, you can close this and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to start Xbox services. Now for this type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find IP hel helper in the list. Make, make a double click on IP helper. Set the startup type to automatic and then click on apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Now scroll down. At the end here, you can see Xbox services, four Xbox services, make a double, double click on each Xbox services, then set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Again, make a double click, set it to automatic, again, hit apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Make a double click, set it to automatic, apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Do the same thing with the last one automatic apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now find windows update make a double click on windows update set it to automatic hit apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now find gaming services so here you can see gaming uh, gaming services running so make a double click uh, i'm sorry make a right click you can restart the service again make a right click restart you can even stop and restart so make a right click click on stop make a right click click on stop and then make a right click once again and then click on restart or if you see start option click on start if you see a restart option make sure gaming services are running and then find microsoft store install service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now you can check now the next step is to delete xbox login credential now for this type in credential manager in windows search box and then click on credential manager now go to windows credentials now scroll down now over here when you scroll down, you will see XBL device key or XBL device, XBL GRTS device key, or you will find both. So you might find only one of them or maybe both. So in my case here, you can see XBL GRTS device key and XBL device key. If you find both, delete both. So click on it and then click on remove, click on yes. Again, scroll down. If you find this, if you have only one, that's fine. If you have both, remove both. XBL device key. Now, once you remove this, now you have to restart your computer. Restart your computer and after the system restart, you can check. Now, still you are facing the problem. Then go to this location. Now, for this, open File Explorer. 
go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder, now open your username folder and then open app data. If you don't see app data on the top, click on view, select show and then put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder. Now open the local folder, now open packages folder. So find packages, open this packages folder. Now scroll down and then find Microsoft Xbox identity provider. So here you can see Microsoft Xbox identity provider. Open this folder. Now open the AC folder. Now open the token broker folder and delete the content of token broker folder. So whatever you have in token broker folder, delete it. I have only one folder. You might see cash and account. Make a right click and empty this folder. Once this is empty, now you can check. Next step is to run these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. So type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator. Now click on yes to allow. Now copy all these commands one by one. Uh, paste it over here, hit the enter key. Copy the second command, paste it, hit the enter key. Now run the third command, paste it, hit the enter key. Now once this is done, now you can, once you're connected to the Wi-Fi, now you can check. Now, yeah, it's connected now. Now the next step is to run WS reset command. So it's still not working. You can type in WS reset in Windows search box and then click on WS reset. And once Microsoft Store is open, now you can check. Next step is to repair or reset Xbox app. Now for this type in Xbox app in Windows search box, make a right click on Xbox app and then click on app settings. Now scroll down, you will see the repair option. So click on repair and after the repair, you can open Xbox app and then check still not working. Click on reset, reset. And once the reset is done, you can open Xbox app and then check still not working. Then do the same thing with Microsoft store. So type in store in Windows search box, make a right click on Microsoft store, click on app settings and do the same thing. You have to repair. And once the repair is done, you can check if that does not work. You can perform reset, reset. And after the reset, you can open Xbox app or Microsoft store and then you can check. Next step is to make sure gaming services and Xbox identity provider is installed. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, you will see the download option to download Xbox identity provider click on it it will prompt you to open microsoft store so click on open microsoft store if xbox identity provider is not installed you will see install button or get button over here i don't see any button to install it that means it is already installed so if you don't see a button no need to install it is already installed if you see the button click on install now also uninstall and reinstall gaming services now for this copy this command this command is provided in the video description type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on run as ad administrator. Always open PowerShell as an administrator. Click on yes to allow, paste the command, hit the enter key. This will uninstall gaming services from your computer. Once this is done, now you can copy the second command. This command is also provided in the video description. So copy the second command. Paste it on the same window, hit the enter key. This will open Microsoft Store on your computer and then you will see the install button to install gaming services. Click on yes to allow and then let the install com complete. Once gaming services is installed, now you can open Xbox app or game and then you can check. But make sure this is installed first. Now the next step is to uninstall Xbox app and then restart your computer and then restart, reinstall Xbox app. So type in Xbox app in Windows search box make a right click on Xbox app and then click on uninstall and then again click on uninstall. Once that is done, once it is uninstalled, now you can open Microsoft store on your computer and in the search box, you can type in Xbox app and then click on Xbox app over here. And then you can install Xbox app from Microsoft store and then you can check. Now still not working in that case, you can uninstall Xbox app, restart your computer and then install the Xbox app from Microsoft website. So you can type in Xbox app once again, make a right click on Xbox app, then click on uninstall, uninstall. Once the uninstall is done, restart your computer once. And after the system restart, you can 
copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to xbox microsoft website now on this website you will see the download option to download the xbox app click on download the app and then you can run this exe file click on it and then you will see the installer over here agree and then click on install and let the process complete once xbox app is installed now you can launch xbox app and then you can check now the next step is to update now if nothing is working the last step is to update your windows using media creation tool if you have windows 10 copy this link if you have windows 11 copy this link windows 10 users go to this website here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen click on accept by default upgrade this pc now would be selected click on next it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update now this process will take some time now once the download is complete before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install and once the installation is complete log into your computer now for windows 11 users go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation log into your computer so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel